Now my bank account overflow. Uh, my content is a one no be on the road. I can't bet for change, cause I'm worth a mill. Yes, I know. Uh, see you lames, I start off in lamb. Adios. Hi, everyone. We're coming to you live on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA. This is Kevin Harlan, and by my side, Chris Weber and Greg Anthony. From the sideline, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. And the starting group for the Grizzlies. Jackson and Valanciunas, they're in the middle. Morant and Brooks manning the backcourt. And it's Winslow in at the three slot. And for Houston, Westbrook and Harden, the dynamite pair. They're the backcourt. Robert Covington out there with P.J. Tucker. And it's House in at the three spot. Rockets win the tip. And here is Harden. Westbrook wide open. He fires. Sinks the triple. Oh, man. This must frustrate the defense. Westbrook makes the three look so effortless. And when you think about being fashion forward, Russell Westbrook's fearlessness extends to his game day outfits. Oh, well, come on, Jay. Russ lives by the model. Why not? I mean, the same reckless abandon we see on the court, yeah, it's reflected in his clothing. You see the confidence rising? I mean, when Brooks is firing away like this, keep feeding him. And the pass to House. A beautiful reverse layup. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. Now here's Morant. Brooks misses. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. A nice shot by Tucker. Here's Morant. Westbrook with the block. Always in a relentless pursuit of the ball. Westbrook is capable of making standout defensive plays. The three from Harden knocks down the three ball. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. For Memphis, they've gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Here's Morant. And Covington sends it back. And he recovers it. And the basket by Jackson. Totally different roles, but Portland's always going to have a, a sweet spot in my heart. My first child was born in the great city of Portland. Catching up on the changes for Houston. Green comes in for Robert Covington. And Gordon subbed in for Daniel House. Now here's Morant. And finished off by Morant. Uh, well, you see the burst. Morant very hard to catch once he gains a step. Houston in the lead. Here's Harden. Oh, and James Harden throws it down hard. I mean, come on, man. Harden is ridiculously clever, including how he decides to posterize you. A superb act. Now here's hey. Morant, and Great Jackson man. throws it down hard. The front office felt it was a move they had to make to go from good to great. And of course, they certainly gave up size, but with Westbrook and Harden in the lineup, they needed more shooting with open driving lanes to be at their best. And Covington provides that along with great perimeter defense. Guys? A team that's no stranger to bold moves. Thanks, David. Uh, the potential is there. For Clark, it's about expanding the range so that it makes him more versatile offensively. And one of the biggest surprises last year for Memphis, Brandon Clark, brought not only the energy, the rebounds, the block shots, he brought the three-point shooting. A player known for his athleticism, Clark's skill set may have been underappreciated by people and personnel. And not only the long-range shooting, Clark showed up with a terrific floater, hit his free throws, he even started creating for others by the end of last year. Carroll finds Rivers. to Carroll over Jackson that one's not going to go now Memphis takes it the other way uh, more good work on the glass there when it's all said and done I think rebounding might tell the story in this game 
And judging Morant's game early on, I've heard a few people with Allen Iverson comparisons. Well, put me in that number as well. That's, that's going to be tough to fill up, but it just means he has the potential, the quickness, the athletic ability, the IQ, the handles. They're both lightning fast, slight builds, and both tough. And you see the explosive ability to get to the rim and finish. I'm going to ask my boy AI what he thinks about the young Ja. Yeah, you can tell they love to get out and run when the opportunity is there. Looking at who's out there now for the Rockets. James Harden. He's checked in for McLemore. And Russell Westbrook has subbed in for Austin Rivers. Jones checked in for Memphis. Now here's Westbrook. He has five. It's good from long range. Stretching the floor with his outside shot. Covered. A true marksman who doesn't lack confidence. Jones looking for an opening. Outside Jackson. Count it. Nine points for Jaron Jackson. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Brooks against Harden. And the layup is good. Harden's got nine. Now look, nobody takes more contact than Harden inside. No one is better at scoring through. Jones, the pass to Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Now here's Westbrook. And again, the Rockets good for two. Harden against Winslow. And Harden gets it to go in on the assist from Tucker. Harden's got the game tied up here for the Rockets. Jones drives in. And slam dunk by Clark. Quick off the floor and powerful. Clark loves to attack that rim. Three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. Westbrook can't get it to go. Well, I mean, I think he better come up with some different ways to get his points tonight. Because the three, uh-uh, not one of them. Ain't working. Throws down the breakaway jam. Oh, I like it when Westbrook takes chances on defense. This is how he comes away with steals. Brooks up on top. At the elbow, it's Jackson. And they double up Jackson. Passes it to Clark. Fires from deep. Sinks the three-pointer. Jones. Westbrook with the block. But they recover it. Clark the pass to Jones. Looking for Clark, and he gets it there. Shoots over Covington. And that one's good by Clark. In all of his athleticism on display there, Clark's work ethic makes him lethal on that offensive backboard. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. Grizzlies lead by three. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Russell, how confident are you that there's nobody that can stay in front of you? Uh, very confident. Uh, I have a lot of confidence in myself. Uh, and I put a lot of work in in the summertime, but I'm very confident. That is never a problem for you, Russ. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. Our second half of basketball and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. So on the floor for Houston. Oh, what a beautiful play. What intensity. Did you see that? Great. Are you for real? <laughs> Morant, way, way up. That move was fine. Here's Westbrook. They get it again. And boy, have they been hitting the backboard in this game or what? Kind of surprising. It's such a tight game. Now here's Morant. Eight points for him. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on John Morant. And that'll be his third foul so far. His fourth turnover of the game. Well, that's not a number to be... And here we go with the coach's challenge. Not surprised in a competitive game like this. And he's disputing the personal foul call. And I think when it comes to some of the more difficult calls to make, personal fouls can be tough. The action is so fast that it's really tough to catch. Morant with it. 
Eight points for him. And finished off by Morant. Yeah, wiry, strong, and courageous. Morant's willing to slam it up in there if you give him a lane. And so Westbrook will bring it up for the Rockets. Pass to House. Harden outside. Buries the long-range jumper. Harden's got 17. Oh, I love how Harden pulls once he gets the ball. If you play off him just a little bit, it'll cost you. Here's Morant. Rockets with the rebound. Wow, that's their first shot of the half that hasn't found a mark. It's been a good start. For a shot by Harden, wide open. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Morant outside. Clark scored the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. From T. Harden. A shot that time, not on target. And it's Memphis the other way. Alan Junis finds Brooks. Some nice passing there by Memphis. An improved playmaker who does a solid job distributing the rock. Don't sleep on Brooks' vision. And where Brooks seemed to have carved out a niche GA, his consistency from range and from the line. Kev, if you can space the floor and hit your free throws, you're going to be in the rotation. Brooks really came into his own last season. And the more he refines his shot selection, the more valuable he becomes to this team. A 75% clip. And Anderson kicks to Brooks. Anderson outside, shoots a three, and again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. And this shot has to give Anderson confidence. I mean, it's, it's one he continues to try to hold. Morant with the steal. Goes up and finished off by Morant. And that's the kind of play you just do not want to give up defensively. You, you lose the possession and give up a quick two at the other end. Harden against Brooks. That one's good, and the Grizzly lead is cut down to four on the bucket from Harden. Oh, he's been dominant this quarter. I mean, he's determined to prevent the lead from getting any bigger. Here's Morant, and finished off by Morant. Ooh, rolling to the rim with force. Love when Morant goes hard and converts with the slam. Houston's gone two of five with a three-point shot since coming out of the break. Here's Rivers. Brooks against Harden. Count that one. Harden's got 25 points in the game. Great quarter for him at the offensive end, trying to will his team back in the game. And finished off by Morant. Man, he's got some hops. Morant loves to attack the rim when he gets the chance. Any chance. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Again, the miss by Harden. And, and, and really credit their advantage on the backboard. That's where the lead has been built, and that's why they are in control. Got a hand on it. And timing is so important. I mean, right there, Brooks shows nice judgment being able to get the rejection. He does all the little things. I mean, he does the big things. I mean, he's got them in front with another outstanding performance. Here's Melton. Three-pointer, and he's good on the three ball. Really in a good position thanks to the accuracy from beyond. Westbrook against Morant. Covington trying to break free, and that one drops. Westbrook's got five points now in the quarter. You can usually count on Westbrook being among the NBA leaders in points off jobs. I mean, in control at any speed. And there's Jackson on the assist by Morant. Morant's got his eighth assist in the game. Westbrook kicks to House over Jackson. And the rejection by Jackson. And they hold a huge advantage on the backboard. Count it. And he's now eight of nine from the floor. Down low, House. Power down after the assist. Let him into the lane. I love Westbrook's use of the play. Always creating offensive opportunities for his teammates. Kicks it to Morant. To the middle. And again, Jaron Jackson. Jackson's got 19 points. 
And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Double team on Westbrook. To the paint, stolen by Jackson. Unhindered, going all the way. Westbrook with the block, and he gets it back. Brooks outside. Here's Valanciunas. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Brooks. And the Grizzlies lead by 15. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Harden way outside from beyond the arc and then some. Harden's got 28. Their three-point percentage has taken a big leap here in this second half. Stolen by Rivers. Oh, and here comes Rivers all alone. And the dunk by Covington. And Harden launches it from deep. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. And, and when Harden feels the deep playing off of him, he knows he hits them with a quick pull-up, Jay. I mean, a shot he knows. Not many defenders can block. Melton feeling it out a bit. Valanciunas, and he converts the layup. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. <laughs> yeah, they're pouring it on right here. Trying to give the opposition no light at the end of the tunnel. 124 left in the fourth quarter. Melton passes to Valanciunas. A baseline J. Rebounded by Tucker. Rockets trail by eight. In the corner, it's Gordon. A three ball and another three for Houston. <laughs> Tucker, look at him. He's provided for his squad. He works so hard to deliver. Jumping on the chance to up their lead at the line. Got it. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. Can you believe that? This is why we love this game. Westbrook finding a way to come up. Stolen by Westbrook. Pass to Tucker. Here's Covington. Harden draws the double. Shot by Gordon. Wide open. It falls. And he has brought them to within two points. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. That's why they put the ball in his hands. They thought they could count on him to make some shots. And Valanciunas kicks to Morant. They get it back. And so they choose to intentionally foul. He hits the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a four-point ball game. Those are big. I mean, turns into a two-possession game. Here's Westbrook. Yes! Yeah, Westbrook is really racking up points. I mean, the focus he's brought to this game is just incredible. And now they foul and stop the clock. They had to foul and on that occasion to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. He drops the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. Second one is good. Being both at the line, and it's a four-point ball game. Those free throws are the nail in the coffin, guys. Harden inside the three-point line. It drops. It's winning time. Harden knows his job is pressure. And so the timeout by Taylor Jenkins here. So a close game sees Memphis take this one. This win, such a tremendous emotional boost for them. Really an accomplishment and crazy finish <laughs> to take a road game like this and simply deflate an entire building. Yeah, I need more, huh? Yeah, I need more, uh, Yeah, I need more, huh? Yeah, I need more, uh, I need more money, huh? Stack them presidents, huh? I need more rich, uh, trying to own teams, uh, Curtains on the ghost, uh, I was never seen, uh,